Howdy, 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 partners. This is going to be Rainbow back again with a replay for you. Going to be full powder build with mortars and queen bass here. And it's actually pouring rain here in uh, good old Oregon. My weather is really unfortunate. Actually, I love the rain, but today the, the rain is a bit loud, but hopefully you'll get outside a little bit soon and do some puddle jumping or whatever. And uh, today I'm going to be playing a battle with um, Hamster Assassin, which is a really fitting name for a Skaven player. It's going to be Ica Claw. We have an Assassin. Well, let's just all go through it here. So this is a super cheesy build here. Both for, both of us brought pretty cheesy builds, but we have double Doom Wheel over here, Ica on his Doom Wheel, and then we have the Wheels of Doom here, blue Doom Wheel of Death, which looks fucking amazing if I do say so myself look at those glowing eyes it's fucking crazy and uh over here we have Natty Bupo sharpshooters which are stock we have gutter runners who are hidden gutter runners here we got gutter runners gutter runners slings we have assassin we have well we have one assassin here <laughs> and then we got gutter runners with slings we have more slings poison gutter runners and it, my force is Totally just powder, pretty much. I have front land of zombies, zombie pirate deckhand mobs with uh, cutlasses, I believe, dual cutlasses. No need for the anti large here. Two protective flanks. I have four mortars, I believe. Three mortars. Yeah, three mortars. Queen Bess here. Morgul Haunter in the back, which is currently hidden from these forces, going to be protecting the. Uh, Queen Bass over here in case of these shenanigans, but I totally did not expect this huge L shape of Skaven And then I have two deck gunners count Noctilus on foot and uh, I believe that's it I actually a gunnery white as well, but we'll get right into the battle Scurvy dog is gonna be Vanguard over here gonna do some scouting here in a second and The early game is gonna be quite slow his my opponent's not going to reveal his forces right away, and at this point, I can't see anything on the map. So I'm just, and I first, I just now spotted my first unit. So I immediately open up fire with my Queen Bess here, because Natty Bubo sharpshooters are a huge target, very expensive. But I'm not sure how the damage is going to do. Actually, kills uh, a few weapons teams there. Looks like two weapons teams. Mortars are going to open up shots with the worst accuracy I've ever seen in my entire life. Still doing some okay damage. And at this point, I'm just like, where is the enemy force right now? I'm doing scouting with the dogs, and I can't find them. They're not in the bush here. They're not in this area. I was scouting this area almost the whole game. And then I failed to realize that just right behind me, there was an army of <laughs> Clan Eshin uh, boys over there. But my cannon, or my Queen Bess is actually taking fire from Natty Boobos, and they've actually gone back into stock. I haven't been able to see them, so I can't shoot at them anymore. I, I think I did use a trick here where you can target the ground with uh, your artillery if you can't see what you're shooting at, but the purple glow is coming off them, but I think I realized that a little bit later. And at this point I'm like, alright, what's happening here? Like This is a little bit crazy, but I bring the dogs over here and try and munch on these uh, natty boobos, and I believe they're going to do some decent work, but the doom wheels are coming in to try and avenge their brothers here. And then my opponent spots my Morngul, and at this point I spot a few of his troops as well. And my Morngul is going to take a few shots, screen out these, uh, look at that, just dragging itself across the ground. Screen out some of these gutter runners, but I'm going to pull some of my deck gunners and artillery to start focusing on this uh, massive pebble onslaught. If I can keep this Morngul alive, it'll regenerate over time. And at some point I'm going to bring all my infantry around and try and form up a little of the Helm's Deep here because yeah I do drop that Captain Ross Moondial zombie over here to try and muck up these uh, slings which are just going to end up using their ammo on that that's okay it's for me if they uh, use the ammo on some of my lighter units we have a couple Queen Best shots going to absolutely annihilate the fuck out of these gutter runner slingers Maelstrom doing uh, relatively low damage to these uh, spread out slinger units here my doggos were cleaned up, doing pretty decent damage to the Giselles, which are going to again, again begin opening up on my crew here at Queen Bess, I believe. But soon, I'm going to, yep, target the uh, skirmishers with my mortars and Queen Bess, and it's just going to be powder kegs forever. Just explosions for days. Going to sit here and try and grind out this fight. 
blowing up some Skaven troops left and right here. Queen Bass crew is taking a, a heaping from the uh, Bubos over here. And at this point, I'm going to get surrounded a little bit from uh, all sides. And the double Doom Wheel is going to come in and try and muck up some forces. But Count Noctilus is on the case. Got a Ickets Doom Orb or whatever coming in on um, Deck Gunners. The Morngol Haunter is going to be giving the business to Wheels of Doom over here. Doing some actually insane damage. My zombies are dying as they should be. Queen Bess is almost dead. I believe actually Queen Bess just went down. A few of the mortars still trying to hold off these slings. And the deck gunners are actually going to get some opening up shots at uh, Ikka Claw, I believe. Zombies being in a tar pit here. Morngol Haunter is going to come back and support my main troops here. The uh, assassin actually tried to goon my gunnery white over here. He's going to be giving him the cutlass. And I believe I'm, I noticed this shortly and have someone go dispatch him quickly. Noctilus is going to get in here with his halberd and slash up this doom wheel. Actually gets destroyed by a fucking zap cannon from Mika Claw. Double zap cannon knocked Noctilus like 15, 20 feet away from them. This doom wheel is coming over trying to get on these deck gunners I imagine. Zombies chasing these uh, boys into the Shadow Realm here. Another Maelstrom, I believe, coming down, doing some okay damage. Oh, my bad. That's actually a Pit of Sage doing some decent damage, I believe. Actually doing some nice damage. Sharpshooters over here moving up to get in range. This uh, Doom Mill over here is shooting some laser beams into a tree. Deck Gunners are going to be opening shots at uh, Ikit, I believe. Point blank shots at Ikit, who's currently not being a micro who's coming around here but uh, assassins getting over here gonna get swarmed by a deckhand mob haunters still giving the business to this wheels of doom gonna come back over here and try and kill uh, Ikka Claw here I summoned some gun zombies just to if they get in range they can do some shooting but uh, Noctilus is gonna be running back to his safety of homeland and these uh, zombie pirate deckhand mobs are gonna get a little bit uh, caught up here with these Got a Rudder Slingers and the Wheels of Doom, but I'm keeping my opponent's forces pretty occupied in here. Sharpshooters are almost out of ammo. I think I'm going to bring some of these deckhands to just chase these beings off into the realms of the gods. We have Ikka Claw here, who's going down to the deck gunner fire and also took a few swipes from the Mournville Haunter, who I believe goes down here. I'm not sure. Nevertheless, still shattered. There it is. Rip Ikka. That is a painful way to go, I imagine. I actually did not know that was a real death animation. Super cool death animation. I've actually never seen that. Awesome stuff, honestly. Um, over here, I think I, I believe I killed the assassin at some point over here. I'm not sure if I can find the rat body of the assassin, but. Just the wheels of doom and a few skirmishers at this point for my opponent. Oh, the assassin actually got routed off over here by Noctilus, I believe, and the Haunter. But my forces are dwindling as well. It's just the deck gunners with Noctilus and the Morngol, but there's not really anything that can challenge Noctilus and the Morngol besides combined arms fire from these uh, skirmishers. The sharpshooters are out of ammo, and the Wheels of Doom is not going to be able to do enough damage in time without taking significant damage back. But it looks like it's going to give it its best shot here, but the Morngol is just super angry. Gonna be swiping that foul beast over there. And we do have this assassin coming in here, killing some of these uh, deckhands. Wow, look at him hit that man with the fucking cannon like it was nothing. Wheels of Doom is being an absolute nuisance over here. I think I drop another Maelstrom on it. A really cool spell, and actually, fucking uh, Morngol Haunter gives it the pile driver to. Uh, end that game there just standing over the corpse like an absolute champion and then the rest of this game and army is hit with army losses after the centerpiece unit goes down here let's take a look at the breakdown screen what a cheesy fucking game dude not too many kills on any of my units actually because they're the skaven were pretty low in number Morngol Haunter did some of the hefty heavy lifting there killing the doom wheel and Ikka claw as well as the deck gunner support Mortars did okay, trying to fend off some of these skirmishers. Queen Bess did alright, uh, doing the same thing. Sharpshooters got some decent damage done, but mostly was shooting at this Queen Bess the entire game. 
Gunnery White got gooned by the assassin, and Noctilus and the Morn Hunter gooned the assassin back. So, fun game, really cheesy. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these kind of gameplay videos, and uh, I'll catch y'all later.